Cairns named Karakou, which means the land surrounded by reefs. And today it is known as the cradle of culture for its rich heritage passed on by the African and European descendants. Karakou features the Maroon and String Band Festival, the Big Drum Nation Dance, and the Shakespeare Mass at Carnival. But what's really unique about Karakou is the boat building culture. Let's learn some more. Karakou sloops, I think, is one of the most prettiest sloops that we have around. All right? And <laughs> Especially when they um, when you when you put the sails on them and you, you put them on the sea water and they, you know they start sailing. So I believe I believe that is one of the um, the difference between our sloops here and other sloops around. Well, our uh, our designs here is is more like the Nova Scotia design and not in the Scottish design. And you know what really happens? A lot of people. I mean, I I, I wouldn't doubt that they say. Um, the Scottish people came here to build vessels for, um, for us, but I don't, I, 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 me, with, for me, I don't believe that because of the, um, the designs, the different designs in it, you know. Our designs is more like the Nova Scotia designs, they, they, are, they are the same, same thing, but not the Scottish design. You can go to Barbados, Jamaica, you can go to all these different islands, and in a lot of islands you can, you can do a lot of the same things. You can do canopy tours, you can do things that every single island has. Okay, no other island has this. Karakou and Petit Martinique are the only islands in the Caribbean that has boat building on this scale. At Winwood is part of the culture of the people of Winwood. So we, 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 I have poems on boat building. So we do poems and of course we bring them to the beach and explain the parts of the boat and talk to the, the, boat, the shipwrights and so on. So we do that to, to keep the culture alive. So being an alumni from the university, i emerged myself in the culture in Grenada and love it since I first came here. And being on loving sailboats and living, I lived in my sailboat when I was here, going to school. I started hearing about the sloops and the tradition of the building of the sloops. Long tradition from grandparents to uncle to father to children. So, and going around them and walking on holidays. Yeah. What we know is where we have is a boat building village in Garibo. And if this thing has gone from here, everything gone, you know. What drove us to make this film, for me personally, it's very personal because my grandfather is, and my parents, my, my mother is from Karakou, so from Wynwood. So Jassy Compton that you saw in the film is my great uncle. And that personal level of remembering coming, spending childhoods here in Wynwood and in Karakou was what drove me to find that passion, find that emotion and bring that through in the film about how important this not only the boat building is, but how important Karakou is to me. It took a really long time. It took uh, three years of filming. And during that time we had many setbacks, many challenges. And it's not an easy thing building a vessel. And it's not an easy thing making a film. Join us next time on Pure Talk.